there are so many different strategies that I've heard on the internet in person from experienced players, veterans, and so many different types of players on how it is that you get better as a pool player. And primarily, you often hear they say practice, practice, practice. And this is something that I've ingrained in my game. Once I have the free time, I'm always on the table, always practicing hey guys what's up everyone welcome or welcome back again to another video another rack analysis two interesting racks which i can safely say were executed because of one very consistent thing that i've been working on in my game and it is in fact the pre-shot routine that is something that you have to really start adapting as a improving player now in the last video guys i showed you quite a bit of situations that do pop up especially from the tutorials that dr dave has been putting out those have been popping up quite a bit and of course this rack uh had its own mistake of course majority of what was done here was done with intention but there were some mistakes that i need to make note of and so in the event that you find yourself in this situation guys you will know how to get out here so let's start off with the break and if you guys haven't watched the last video a link will be pinned in the description box below and of course anything else that is mentioned in this video will also be pinned here now you can see that that was a beautiful break shot there squatting the cue ball almost to the center of the table but i did have a bit more side uh, top spin on that so it did float towards the top of the table i did find myself with a tricky position here tricky start to this rack and uh one of the things that i really love about how i do my videos is that i give you a more realistic situation that do come up how do you get started now i'm not yet a pro player and i did say in my last video i was a little bit cocky in terms of saying that i'm no longer an aspiring player but definitely guys this game has so much more to teach me so i'm gonna stick with saying that i'm an aspiring pro player i'm not there as yet guys but i'm definitely working on thinking like a pro and executing like a pro here now i do have uh it's one of those type of racks one of those opening shots where you the, the safety doesn't look too good and there's a half chance at a gamble so i did try to gamble by playing a billiard off the one into the three i did or it was a seven i think and i did miss the pot and i did get a little bit lucky in terms of the result almost scratched but now i left my opponent with a tricky tricky shot here now this particular execution that you're about to witness is something that i'm really working on and it's a video that i'm going to be releasing it's good. you guys need to be hitting the subscribe button and turning on the post notification bell because what you are about to see me execute here is again yet very calculated and was done to precision here now i'm trying to overcut the one and bring it onto the short rail so i'm more interested in protecting my object ball as opposed to protecting my cue ball but notice how i float towards the nine and that is something that i'm going to be showing you on the channel how you can precisely send the cue ball to any diamond without any mathematical calculation so beautiful execution there i was in fact uh considering that the possibility of pocketing the nine on the carom but i was more interested in really trying to protect the object ball and the cue ball so this was a beautiful safety here leaving my opponent really really tough now depending on the skill level of your opponent if you're playing the likes of me apex Elenio, that knows a lot of kicking systems and i've had a lot of success then of course you may be able to make contact with this one ball now this particular shot here i, I i'm not sure if i miscalculated i got so close to making contact here but you can see i'm using the plus two system for kicking here so i'm kicking through diamond 5.5 and i'm kicking at diamond negative one so it should float oh that was very very close there very very close just a here too much side spin maybe i may have hit the ball a 
bit too hard as well so or i didn't apply uh too much enough check sides in here but mr shot mr pot this is what you need when you leave your opponent tough you mu you must be able to get a ball in hand and you must be able to run out the rack because obviously that's the reason why you played a safety now this two ball here actually is a shot that i'm actually working on uh in my game as well i do have a little i always tend to overcompensate for the cut sometimes because i'm afraid of hitting the rail too early like in this example here i hit the two ball early on the side rail but the pocket speed of that shot is what allowed it to go and uh uh, do what gravity allows it to do here which is to fall into the pocket but I was very fortunate there and now I have a very good chance once I get that two and I have an angle on the three everything is just super super natural here now I didn't mention it to you but I'm sure that you guys are noticing that there's a shot clock in the middle of the in the middle of the video because after editing the video I always monitor my decision making duration when you're in an actual tournament when you're gambling maybe you can take a longer time but when you're in a tournament you've got to maintain your shot selection position play in uh, a handy time there that was a beautiful three real position you see on the replay here where i was very deliberate in where i needed the cue ball to hit on the third cushion so it comes in towards the middle diamond comes a little bit long and heads into the line of the seven which gives me a large margin for shot speed error and dr dave spoke about that also in a video that will be pinned in the description box below so definitely check that out dr dave has contributed significantly to my game here now this is a little bit of a fancy shot i would say just coming in two reels and sliding into the line of the shot from behind again that is the dr dave principle being applied here when it comes to position play so this was a beautiful rack in more than one ways in my opinion let me know your thoughts in the comment section guys the the, the rack had a lot it was a good safety it was a good attempted kick resafe the, the the position play was clean except for the pot on the two which kind of wobbled but you know pocket speed allowed that ball to be deposited and uh the position play was really nice the stroke was clean the pre-shot routine all my decisions i believe was made in a timely manner i do recognize though that whenever i try to do something very precise i tend to go over my average shot duration which is 30 seconds so that's definitely something that i'm going to be working on as well but i want to thank you guys for joining the channel and going on this journey to the pro level where i aim to become the most complete pool player in my country so that is the aim and objective and the goal here now i'm going to be jumping into yet again another rack and this is in the same practice session as you can see the same uniform i did put out a vlog of me going to training this day i did a lot of drills that day spot shot drills um safety drills as well so look out for those videos be sure to hit the subscribe button below so yet again another beautiful break shot there i've been getting a lot of consistent spread notice how i went in not full into the one ball but half ball hit i had a lot of sides top spin on that one so i'm not sure how that cue ball escaped but i've not scratched a lot i've been really recognizing a lot of consistency and improvement in my break on the nine ball not sure if it's just this table but i've been hitting the one ball on the sweet spot quite a bit i've lost the cue ball a little bit as well as i've also lost position on the one but when i do get a good break and a look on the one i usually run out here now nice start there the stun drawing coming back and notice the natural angle that i leave myself here on the two here now my only problem is negotiating the cue balls part past the six and just a slight overcut towards the left side of the pocket allows me to just escape that six coming naturally two rails 
into position here now i did overrule a bit here just a here so i have to use a bit of check side spin and slow speed to maintain a casual angle here on the four because the five ball is to the left side of the rail so i need an angle now i almost end up a bit close to that nine which would have hampered my stroke but you know the check side worked out there and you notice how fluid how finesse how much i just stroke that ball with authority but still maintaining control here on the uh, cue ball and this is something that i mentioned also in my last video that i've been working on that stroke where you just pop the ball and just allow the cue ball to float into position here now i rushed this shot as you can see on the shot clock there that decision was made in almost 10 seconds could have taken a bit more time to adjust and sometimes you'd have to allow the field to take over but when the field takes over you have to be very mindful that when you're playing a high level pool or you're playing a competition you are not going to get away with whatever it is that you're about to see me execute here now it's not a case where i think i'm more i rushed the shot so much notice here that i use top left spin what i needed was more i, I needed more center ball to come high up on the rail now i did use a bit too much spin and this is where you have to avoid really overusing spin i do have a lot of players that play around me when they're playing position they tend to fall out of line a lot which forces them to have to consistently use spin now again made a big mistake here have to auto correct and once again it's the dr d principle of position play where you pocket your object ball and float into position from behind the object ball here and here's dr dave explaining that exact scenario here more into the line of the eight from behind like this i overhit that a bit but again because i was coming into the line i had plenty of room for error and it's important to really note when you have a thin cut to go three rails or four rails behind into position from behind or you go uh three rails into position from um behind okay so that's important here once again didn't fall too nicely here on the eight again i'm not too much concerned about say here getting that perfect run i want to be able to do the thing right here now i did get a bit fortunate as will happen occasionally when you're playing well and as efren battery says that the more he practices is the luckier he gets so i do get a lot of rolls like this definitely the safety was not intentional i was going all out for the pot i don't have a choice here and i'm very surprised that i actually missed this jump because this is a very makeable jump this is a jump that i've executed a hundred times in various competitions you'll see here on the replay here we're on the jump i hopped just slightly in front of the object ball so it causes the object ball to overcut and i almost got lucky twice into the corner and there into the side pocket so didn't get lucky here it wasn't a complete wrap but there was a lot that you guys could have learned from this rack let me know your thoughts in the comment section what would you have done differently let me know if you learned something new about position play i got a little bit curious here of course because obviously i missed the rack i was trying to do a delayed draw stroke here but i clicked the nine almost pocket the nine cue ball got a little bit loose it is what it is we got something from this rack and that's important to me so i do hope that you guys learned something as well of course do not do what i just did here letting your cue ball go wild obviously if i was playing in a competition i would just be gliding that off a couple of cushions and just finishing the rack there but guys i do hope that you enjoyed this tutorial video do stay tuned guys i have some sublime content coming for you that will supercharge your game to a whole different level in under 30 minutes so stay tuned guys check it out i'll see you in the next tutorial video keep on practicing with precision accuracy consistency and so until then take care bye bye